Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be making drawer wings, so the side rings that go on your drawers. I'll be making it out of MDF board sheet. So it was 20 bucks from my local hardware store, Bunnings. All right, so I just measured it and this is 10 mil in from this metal bracket here. So just gonna minus the 10 mil off this. So quickly measure that up across and then length is 900 and the width is um, 215 so should be pretty easy to measure up. Alright so the good thing about this MDF that I've got it is 900 in length. And then from here it is 215 just marked it out with a chalk line so it's all nice and straight. Alright uh, just going to use the Ozito circular saw just to cut this. Use the saw guide so it's all nice and straight but I can't cut it straight just without it but it'll just be easier. So do this. It's a really nice day living in a Alright, so I just cut the first piece of MDF. Um, pretty sketchy, just moved and I cut it, but that's alright. The saw guard helped heaps. So, um, just got a, this groove right here. I'm gonna make a groove in the wood so that can fit properly around it. So, we'll get that sorted. So when it sits hard against it, it's a bit hard to just... There we go. So when it sits against it, it's um, still on this little metal part here. So just got to cut like another two mil off and then should all fit. And then I'll show you how I will mount them. All right, so it's all in. So just off this cut here, had to just cut another three mil off. Got a little gap there, but you won't see that much anyway. So to mount it underneath it, I've got this L bracket here, which I'm actually gonna just place straight under and then just tech screw it in and then just two screws just on top of it. And then that will hold it. And then for the back, I'll use a two by four just to make it steady. And then we'll get ready on the other side. All right, so screwed one tech screw in just to hold the L bracket by I just Get another tech screw just to go from the bottom and then i'll get a wood screw to go over the top so this mdf is working great not like plywood where it just goes everywhere in your car so definitely recommend this stuff Alright, so this one's all in. Now I will get to the one on the other side. Alright, so I've just whipped this one up quickly together. So they're both in, so you can put stuff underneath. I'm going to be putting 
carpentry stuff like levels and stuff like that under it but got some left over right over there so might think of something to make maybe draw dividers in my drawers so I did the side rings yesterday that side and this side that's just temporary I'm not staying there for long but got some spare leftover MDF so you're gonna make a bed with hinges so I got the hinges here so I'm just gonna put them like that cut the MDF 5 mil short so I can at least then open it so it doesn't hit the roof and break my roof lining I'll get started measuring it and then I'll cut it Alright, so I've just cut the MDF. Now I'm just marking out where the hinges go, so marked there. So I'm just gonna do it like this. The reason I'm doing it like this, so I can fold it back and it's nice and flat. Alright, so I've just done this hinge here. Now I'm going to do the other one on that side there. So I'll mark it out. This is 45 from here to here. So I'll mark out 45 from the corner in and should be sweet. Alright, I've got the two hinges in now. So I'm just going to put this in, drill it in onto the hinges and then Hopefully it clears the roof vinyl lining. Alright, so just did all the hinges then. Let's just hope it clears the roof. Alright guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. So in this video I was making a rear bed setup with some side wings um, used MDF. Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, sub, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.